Hi everyone, it's Desiree. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me for another video. Today I am cash planning for the week. This is actually my YouTube paycheck, so I first have to say huge thanks to all of you for watching my videos, for choosing to take the time to watch these videos, because without you, this paycheck wouldn't have been possible, and this is actually my biggest paycheck ever on YouTube. I've been doing YouTube for, I think, four years. Um, and I've always gotten pretty good income from it, but with this cash stuffing and um, budget content, it's really like bumped my income up a lot. So again, I really appreciate it. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you're not already, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can check out more of my content um, and stay up to date on that. I do put content out every single day, so there's always something daily to enjoy on my channel. Um, I do disclose how much I make on YouTube because since all of you are the reason why I make the money, um, it's, it's nice to at least show that and then how I'm planning on putting it in my envelopes. I have a few things I'm going to do with this money because it was quite a bit for this month and I don't want to just all put it in my, my envelopes. Um, so, so yes, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. So I did get paid. So YouTube just pays you out um, at the like the middle of the month, almost towards the end of the month for last month. So this is actually what I made on YouTube in April. So April was a really good month for me. And I'm sorry, not April, March. March was a really good month for me. Um, so, so yeah, so that's what I got. I got the paycheck and then I do have to do a couple of things before I figure out the money, like what their money's gonna go. So I did I get I got paid from YouTube four thousand five eleven, which again is amazing. It's a really nice sum of money. Now that money I, I when I always get paid when it comes to any of my social media stuff, none of it takes taxes out. So I have to account for taxes. I do put aside thirty percent of that money for taxes i have a separate savings account just for taxes um so that way i just do not touch it because that's what it's for and as you can see it's a lot of money that has to go just straight into taxes so 1353 is going into taxes just right off the bat like so much money and i don't worry about the cents i actually got paid four thousand 5, 11 and 27 cents but I'm not going to worry about cents even the cents over here okay and then the next thing I want to just again put straight into savings I have another savings account that I just put things I just don't want I'm saving for um I have sinking funds money in there um savings and also my rent because each paycheck that I get from my full-time job and all my social media stuff I do took take portions of it out and then put it just into savings to save for my rent so for this from this paycheck I'm putting 900 for rent okay and I don't cash stuff any of this stuff I know some people like cash stuff their bills and their rent and stuff like that but I just find it easier just to put it straight into savings and then I just don't have to deal with it because uh, it's a lot. So I'm left with $22.58 which is still quite a bit of money and I think because I have still so much money left over I'm going to take 30% of this and just, just dump that into savings. So that's going to be 30%. So $6.77 of that is going straight into savings. And so from here, I'm left with 1581 to stuff. Okay, so that's how I got this number, 1581, okay? Um, so I like showing that whole process because I don't disclose how much I make at my full-time job. Um, that I do wanna keep, you know, for myself. Uh, so I don't really show like the breakdown of this where I have my paycheck and then I start figuring things out like that. Um, so it's nice at least to see, like, to show how I do this. Um, so you can just see my my strategy when it comes to this money. All right. So, again, thank you. Thank you so much because, again, this is a lot of money and I wasn't expecting that. I actually need to look at my analytics to see, like, why it was so much. 
I think um, some of my videos that I've posted back like months ago are starting to get more views and that happens too. I have a lot of like tutorial videos on my channel and those might have um, started to get more views like the how to ca start cash stuffing and then I know the how to make the, the envelopes those have been getting a lot of views. So that might be the reason why but I have to look into it a little bit more. Okay, so I already figured out my wallet. Actually, I need to do the little tallies. So I need 150, um, three 20s, six 10s, one, two, three, four, five. I like to just do tallies. And then five ones. Now I'm doing a little bit more in my wallet this week. I usually do 170. So in spending, that's gonna get 30. Eating out's gonna get 30. Groceries is going to get 80. Coffee is the only one I bump up to treat myself a little bit more because this was my YouTube paycheck again. And it was a really nice YouTube paycheck. So I'm going to do 30 this week so I can get like a pastry and a coffee, that kind of thing. And then um, Buffer is going to get 10. So that's my wallet. So I'm just going to subtract 180 from there. So I'm left with 1401, which again is still a really good amount of money. Like it's, it's a lot of money. But I want to be able to really stuff these envelopes because like the past couple of stuffings I've been putting like five here five there still good but now I can really do some some really good amounts into these envelopes which I'm excited I'm excited for that okay so auto repair I'm gonna put I have 300 so I'm gonna put 50 in auto repair I really think this one is super important, especially since like my car is a little bit older. My car is eight years old. I've never had an issue, like a major issue when it comes to my car. I have a Toyota. They seem to be pretty good. Um, but, you know, it's getting there. It's got over 100,000 miles. So having this here, like whenever I go get my, my oil change and if something comes up, there's always like something else that needs to be fixed. I, it can get fixed. Like I have no problem. Like, oh, I have the money for it. Um, in the past, that was, oh, it was always, I was always scrambling trying to find money to pay for these things. So it's been so nice to have this auto repair fund um, to pull from. Love it. Also Christmas. I've never saved for Christmas until last year. And it was so nice again to have the money set aside for that. So I have 250. So I'm just gonna put 50 in here. That'll get me up to 300 electronics okay so I'm, I'm planning on buying a computer i have 620 in here so i'm going to put 80 so i can have 70. i'm going to be buying that computer soon i just haven't had i just haven't done it emergency is going to get okay emergency and extra debt are going to get pretty high amounts um so this one emergency is going to get 110 that's just going to go into savings and extra debt. I don't have any more debt, but I'm paying myself for paying my debt off because I came into some money and I was able to pay off my debt, but I want to put the money back into savings. So I'm putting 110, just matching what I did in emergency furniture. I think I want to put 40 in here because I want to buy a dresser. So I'm saving up for that next when it comes to furniture rainy day i'm gonna put 40 in here as well registration i'm gonna put 20. this one i have like almost a whole year to save for this and so yeah 20 is good road trip i'm gonna put 30 in road trip sensi i'm gonna put 30 in this too subscriptions okay I'm trying to pay a subscription so I want to pay for my Spotify um, the annual subscription for that so that way I don't have the monthly payment anymore and I believe it's like $99 $100 so I have 35 so I'm just gonna put 65 in here so this is why it's nice to have that that nice YouTube paycheck because then I can really like hit some goals with this with this money treat yourself again this is gonna get a high amount too because I like to treat myself here and there. I think that's important for me. Like my kind of self-care is um, buying nice things. I'm not into like getting my nails done. I'm not into going to spas or massages 
like I don't wear makeup. I don't do any of those kinds of things, but I do like having like a little nice thing here or there for myself. So I do try to indulge in those things. Um, so let's do 110. 110 in here. Okay, so I'm left with 666. I'm gonna go into the white binder. Beauty is going to get, let's see, I have 14. I'm gonna put 40 because I need to buy some new toner. And I think that'll be good for that. Clothing I have a zero, so I'm gonna put 40 in here as well. Content, I'm gonna put 20. Costco, I'm just gonna put 10 in Costco. Oh wait. Oops, I messed up, sorry. I forgot to write Costco in. Oops, I forgot about Costco. So let me put Costco here. 10, and I forgot if I subtract the 10. Okay, I didn't subtract the 10. All right, so that's Costco. Disney, so I'm going to Disney this weekend. So I'm gonna put, I have 30, I'm gonna put 60 in here. Family is gonna get 40. Fun. I'm gonna put 40 in fun. Um, gifts, that's gonna get 40. That'll put me up to over 100. So that's good because my nephew's birthday is next week. Hobbies. Hobbies. I'm gonna put 40 in hobbies. There's some things I wanna buy. So put 40 in there. Holiday decor. I'm gonna put 20. Home decor, which is just home. Anything for the home. Um, that's gonna get 35. Household. Let's put 40. And target. I'm gonna put 40. All right, so I'm left with 201. Oh, I still have to do my challenge, my savings challenge. Okay, I'm gonna do Go Wild first. I actually need to start this over, so this is not correct. But I'm gonna put 60. So I'm saving for next year's Go Wild. I just went to Go Wild, which is a planner conference that happens annually, and I went to it last week. So I spent the money that I saved throughout the year, and now I'm save starting in this savings up again so I can save for next year for next year's um go out okay so that's 60 okay so I just had to double check that I subtracted the go wild because again I sometimes forget since I'm talking and then I'm doing things I sometimes forget and then um and also this becomes like second nature so I don't realize I'm doing it also at the same time and then I also double check to make sure this is correct because I just didn't want any mess ups but so far we're good so that's good. All right, so I'm gonna do the power up challenge that I have right here because I have to roll for this. So let me grab my dice, Put some dice here. And I need a sticky note. I have to get some of my little ones, but I only have the big ones right now. That's okay. So I'm gonna see how many times I'm gonna roll for this challenge, so four times. And then, okay, so four, four times. And then um, the first roll is going to be this side, and then the second roll is going to be this side. That's kind of how um, you play the game. This one's I got off of Etsy, so I'll have it linked in the description. So that's four and five. So you kind of just meet up with the four and the five, four and five. That's a one, little star. Okay, next one, three and six, so three and six, we got a mushroom, so that's five. Next is two and four, so two and four is a rainbow, which is two. And then the last roll is two and five. Two and five, which is a mushroom, so that's five. So total is 10, 12, 13 dollars for this challenge. So I'm gonna do power up down here. 
and that is going to be 13 minus 13. All right, so I'm left with still $128. I still need to go into my 100 envelope challenge. I'm gonna probably fill like the next, whatever large number I have left to fill in there. So I'm gonna go in here. I still need to get a make a tracker for here because I believe this binder I got off of Amazon came with one, but mine didn't come with it. So I need to buy like a tracker for the front just so I can like see all the, the numbers I've done just in one spot. But I'm just gonna flip to the last page, which is this 73 right here. So this challenge, I'm gonna fill 73 for the 100 envelope. 100 envelope, 73. Okay, I'm left with $55. So let's see what I got here. This challenge is almost done. I have $30 left. So I'm just gonna do $30 in here just to finish this challenge. And my sister made the little piggies, which is super adorable. I'm gonna do, I have 25 left, so I'm gonna do 15 in here. So I'll be able to fill in three of these. And then whatever's left over in my wallet, I like to put into these challenges too. And then for the dollar ones, I'm just going to do the 10. Okay. So that should be the full 1581. And like, yeah, that should be all the 1581. And that's how I plan on splitting that up into this system. So now what I need to do next is do the tallies and figure out the actual denominations that I need to go and ask for at the bank. So auto repair is gonna get 150. Christmas is gonna get a 50, electronics is 50, 70, 80. Emergency, 110. Extra debt, 110. Furniture is 40. Rainy day, 40. Registration, 20. Road trip is a 20 and a 10. Um, Sensi is 20 and a 10. Subscriptions is 65, so that's 50, 65. Five. Treat yourself is 110. Um, beauty is 40. I have a few 40s here, so another 40. 20, 60. Okay, some more 40s here. There's actually a few. And then a 20, 35. So 20, 35. 40 for household, 40 for target. 60 for go wild, 50, 60. And then Costco is 10. Power up is 13, so that's a 10, one, two, three. 100 envelope is 73, so that's 50, 70, one, two, three. 50, 73. And then $10 is 30, so that's gonna be three tens. $5 challenge is 15, so that's three fives, one, two, three. And then $1 challenge is 10 one, so that's 10. I'm just gonna write 10. All right, so now I get to count the tallies and see how many um, denominations I'm getting. So one, two, three, one hundreds. Fifties, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, fifties. One, two, three, yeah. And then 20s, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 20s, 10s, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 10s, and then... We have fives, not a lot of fives. I had a lot of fives last time, not a lot of fives this time. One, two, three, four, five, and tens. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, once. All right, so now I need to calculate and hope that this all adds up to 1581. That's always my least favorite part. So there's 300. Um, eight times 50 is 400 and then 31 times 20 is 620 21 times 10 is 210 
Five times five is 25 and then 21. Okay, so let's see if this all calculates out correctly. 400, 620, 210, 25, and 21. Does not calculate out, okay. 300, oops, 300, 400, oops. 300 plus 400, 620, 210, 25, and 21. Okay, so I'm short five bucks. I messed up somewhere with the five. Okay, so now that I know that, I'm just gonna double check my tallies to see where I could have messed up. Those are 40, 20. This happens. I, sometimes, like, I just don't notice, like, where the boxes are. Or I'm just, like, going, and then it, it just happens. It happens. It happens more than it should, but it happens. Um, as long as I figure it out, that's all that matters. 20, 35. Unless I counted something wrong, too. 20. Which, that's possible, too. Okay, so this was 10. 15, 13, 10, 13. 100 envelope is 73, that's correct. 30 for 10s, 5, 10, 15, 10. Okay, so maybe I counted wrong. 3, 4, 5, that's 5. 1, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay, let me just double check this whole amount to see if that's correct. I figured it out. I forgot to do a tally up here for the five. So I, I messed up at the very, very beginning of this video. Okay, so that should be five dollars here to total up the 180 because in my in my buffer envelope, I like to put one five dollar bill and then five one dollar bills. Yes. So that's a total of ten. So that's where I messed up. I just forgot to do a five here. So then this is going to be six. And this is going to be 30. Jeez, that took forever for me to figure out. Because <laughs> so I thought I had that right. I just totally did not do it correctly. 1581, perfect. Okay, so now that that's all good, this is why I like, like, the, eventually it'll get figured out. Because, you know, it needs to all math out correctly. So when I realize there's a mistake, it's, you know, it's got to be figured out and fixed. Um... So I'm gonna just write on this little sticky note how many denominations I'm gonna ask for at the bank. So 100 times three, that's 300. 50, I need eight of those, and that is 400. 20, I need 31, that's a total of 620. Tens, 21, that's 210. Fives is going to get six for a total of 30. And then one is 21, and that's $21 for a total of 1581, which I'm going to be asking to receive at the bank. Okay, so that is it. I'm just putting it in my wallet so I don't forget it. Um, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, thank you. I really appreciate it. For, that you're choosing to watch this video especially all the way to the end because that really helps my channel out really helps with my youtube paycheck so again i appreciate you being here and i hope to see you in the next video